after two weeks in Hawaii. It's fried. Mickey Dunkelberger's yard let her know she was missed. I didn't feel concerned about having someone come over to water my lawn, um, but now I, I see the error of my ways. <laughs> She's not alone, judging by the pictures viewers shared on our Facebook page. Catch up time all over the Twin Cities. Our grass is extremely stressed right now. Ben Cooper, general manager of Rainbow Lawn Care, says lack of rain plus temperatures pushing or exceeding 90 degrees have taken a toll. What you're seeing is grass going dormant. It just doesn't have enough moisture. It's trying to kind of save itself from all the heat. Decision time. Let your grass continue going dormant. It will, in most cases, come back. Or water now. The Minnesota Department of Agriculture recommends an inch a week applied in one or two applications, more often on sandy soils. Cooper says a tuna can placed near your sprinkler makes a great gauge for a week's worth of water. You don't want to just turn on your, your sprinkler, especially in the middle of the day. It's evaporating faster than it's actually absorbing into the ground. Instead, early morning watering is best. Also, sharpen that dull mower blade to ease stress on grass and raise your mower. Leave grass at least three inches tall to shade its roots and crowd out deep-rooted weeds that thrive during droughts. And remember, Hawaii is nice, but Minnesota has its own qualities. <laughs> yeah, unpredictable. Ben Cooper says crabgrass also bad this year. He attributes that sudden warm-up that we had back in May and those 90 degree temperatures. At this point in the season, he says he wouldn't bother spraying crabgrass. It, it'll die out in the fall and you can hit it again next year in, in the spring with some uh, pre-emergent uh, materials. Uh, you called me out a bit, Julie, on my own lawn. I did find the one green patch that's left here that uh, <laughs> not looking so good back there. So I've got some work to do too. Well, it looks good from where we can see it, Boyd. Thank you so much.